Hi, this is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Markham Microcap Conference at the Grand Hyatt Hotel in New York City. I have with me Anthony Marchese of Texas Rare Earth Resources, publicly traded company, symbol T R E R. Welcome to SNN Live. Thank you very much for having me on, Shelley. It's my pleasure to have you. Okay, let's get an overview and then we'll go from there. Well, Texas Rare Earth Resources, symbol TRER, is currently developing what is probably the world's largest heavy rare earth deposit, which sits uh, approximately 80 miles southeast of El Paso, Texas. Uh, it's a one of a kind uh, deposit. Uh, the Chinese who control the rare earth market are actually looking for the heavy rare earths, which is what we have. And uh, basically the proposition is very simple. We have a $15 million market cap company with a billion dollar plus NPV on only one of our four mountains. So which rare earth elements do you have? We're very big in, our, our largest by volume is yttrium. So if you have looked at the, uh, or rather read, the Navy with their la laser guns, that takes a tremendous amount of yttrium. Our second largest by volume, but largest by value, is dysprosium. And dysprosium allows you today to buy a, uh, uh, an electric drill half the size from four years ago. You know, it's really good that you can demonstrate which rare earths go into which products. So, El Paso, Texas? I never heard of rare earths in El Paso. There's not even normally a lot of mining there. Nevada, yes. Texas? How did you come across this property? It's a long story, but the, the, the bottom line is Texas is a great place to do business. Texas wants a six and a quarter percent royalty they fund their entire educational budget through royalties from oil and gas and things like mineral exploration. Texas becomes our partner and as a result we love the state. Uh, we're in probably the second or third poorest county in Texas uh, near El Paso so as a result we're probably going to be eligible for a lot of grant money and the state is solidly behind what we're doing. Do you do a 43101 like Canadian properties do? Outstanding question. Last year we had a preliminary economic assessment which is, as you point out, 43101 compliant. Uh, it indicated that we have about a, a billion uh, pounds of heavy rare earths. Indicated at the time that it would cost approximately two billion dollars to develop and even at that Mark uh, at that uh, capital expenditure level was an extremely profitable mine. Within the next three months, we will have refined that project down to a point where it will cost approximately 275 to 350 million dollars. So the next step would be to do a feasibility study, which we believe will require another 10 million dollars in capital. But we have a lot of resources that we can um, uh, sell off and one should not assume that the money will come from the equities markets. As I said, the fact that Asian companies... So we're talking off-take agreements. Off agreements. I mean, I, I get it. Ladies and gentlemen, finding big lots of heavy rare earth elements is literally borderline spectacular because they're not around the world, no. let alone heavy. The places around the world where they're located are places you and I would not want to live. They're primarily located in places like the Northwest Territories of Canada. Uh, the United States has another uh, deposit which is in Bokan Mountain in Alaska, a much smaller mine. Our mine life on one mountain will be approximately 140 years. That particular deposit has an 11 year mine life. So we're going to be far more attractive to larger entities who are looking for a steady source of that's supply. My, that's my next question. So right we now, well together. we're getting there so well I have a lot of questions so right now you're an exploration company Correct. and then you're going to become a development company Correct. do you also Unless somebody buys us uh -huh. do you think you're gonna go into production if you go down that road all the way we are not gonna go into production on our own we are at this point looking for strategic partners uh, we believe that the big guys are far better at operating these types of resources than Texas for Earth. 45% of our stock is held by uh, uh, officers and directors. 
we are, as I said before, looking for the strategic partners. We, we don't believe that, the be we, we believe in letting people do what they do best. How large an acreage do you have? I won't even ask you hectares. We, I'm, I'm <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> the answer is I don't know hectares. We have 950 acres of a mountain that's a couple of thousand feet high, and this, there's no underground mining. This is, take, take the top part of the mountain off, crush it, grind it, throw some acid on it, leach it. This is a leaching process. I don't want to get too technical, but it's very know. simple processing. Ladies, what's your background? Um, I'm from the capital market side. Started, I have an MBA from the University of Chicago, started my life at General Motors, and have been on Wall Street ever since. And now you're in rare earths. Now I'm in rare earths. Opportunity knocked. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get your website out there. www.tomrobert.eddyrobert.com Tom Robert, that's T-R-E-R -E dot com. That's correct. Perfect. Okay, Anthony, I want to thank you for coming on to SNN Live. Ladies and gentlemen, Anthony Marchese, Texas Rare Earth Resources Symbol. T-R-E-R, -E -R. it's a publicly traded company. I'm Shelley Kraft, this is SNN Live. We're at the Markham Microcap Conference at the Grand Hyatt in New York City. Thank Anthony, you very thanks, much, thanks, Shelley. Thanks for coming on. Great, thanks.